This week, John McFarlane was the host, joined by Joe Nate, the executive producer. In the brig, they had Mike Chapman, design director and Twitch streamer Dodelaire. The theme was Winner Takes All, where they gathered as much loot as they could and would challenge another crew in a ship race where the winner takes all, unless otherwise told by the wheel of other players' emotions. Speaking of the wheel of other players' emotions, it was used three times throughout the stream. The first was gunpowder barrel a ship, which failed. They ended up getting barreled instead. Lone Pirate, I believe, was successful with Dode going over to the other ship and destroying the entire crew, while at the same time, the third one was rolled with fire on board was spun. Throughout the stream, they did a few code giveaways where you were shown the code on a screen and had to guess the missing letter or number, all of which were claimed within moments of going up. Moving on to the more important things that happened throughout the stream, the crew was asked if they're going to enhance the current streamer mode to include your own crew and they replied saying that they are going to implement this as well. It was mentioned by Mike that barrel balls on skeleton ships make them repair slower. They were asked about custom titles and said that this was something that they had in development in the past where you'd be able to unlock certain words and create your own title. Similar to fridge magnets where you'd be able to create poems or sentences using a list of preset words. However, found that people still abuse this system so it was removed. Joe mentioned that his favourite thing to do was anything relating to gunpowder barrels, specifically blowing them up. When they were asked about when the new fort would be activated in the Devil's Roar, they said as soon as possible. It'll be active in the Pioneer program this weekend so if you're a member of that, be sure to log in. The small changes to various locations was brought up and they became very vague about why we're seeing these little changes specifically to the statue cave and banana peels. Mike basically said that adding new landmarks is something that they've always wanted to do because they like that people can call them out and they're also going to be adding things with specific meaning, presumably tying things in with law. Joe mentioned that one of the new features they're going to be introducing was interacting with a Meg and it was one of his new favourite things to do ever. However, no specific details were given. The loot float time was brought up and to start with, Mike was unaware that this was even an issue, stating that he wasn't sure what the problem was. So John asked the chat where there was an overwhelming too short reply across all three chats. Mike then said that he'd increased the float time of loot as a result, which was great to see. Although there was no mention of when this will happen or how long it would be increased to. When asked about going to TwitchCon, Joe said that they were and he can't wait. Jill Weapons was brought up to which they stated that they have no plans for this as yet. They've got other things to work on before adding more weapons. At the end of the stream, they were unable to come across any other ships that wanted to race them. So they decided on doing a three-man drunken race with the grog chests that they had collected. They decided that if Dode won, she could ask one question and they would answer it truthfully. Joe got knocked off on the deck, Mike couldn't keep up and Dode won. The question she asked was getting more pirate slots. Mike answered the question saying that they had recently had a meeting and are looking at ways to implement this in a Sea of Thieves manner. They know that people want it and are also excited for the stories that would come as a result of it. It'll be more than a month before it's implemented as their focus is on the mega update. The question felt like a missed opportunity, however she was kind of put on the spot. As always, it was a great stream. I laughed out loud a few times. There was loads of information given to us, especially whenever Mike joins in the brig. It was enjoyable if you do have the two hours to spare. I have a rundown on my website linked below that includes various timestamps of all the little things that happened throughout the stream if you're interested, including when they came across megs or skeleton ships and so forth. However, that's all for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the Aussie accent. Share the video with your friends. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Hope you're having a lovely day. Till next time.